Hello, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> Today, uh, I'm doing some Battlefield Hardline beta, close beta, uh, gameplay. Uh, as you may know, the Battlefield Hardline beta is over, at least until fall, uh, when it's going to come out for all platforms. And, uh, well, the beta, that is, not the game. The game comes out on October 21st. Uh, in this uh, gameplay, I'm playing Blood Money, and I'm using the Operator class. I got as much uh, I got as much gameplay as I could right before the beta ended. I would have gotten more gameplay, better gameplay, had I have not been on uh, vacation for two weeks while the beta was out. That was sort of annoying, but uh, you, you can't you can't prevent, really prevent that. Um, you know, lost two weeks of uh, gameplay uh, to being out, but. Uh, Anyway, I got this gameplay, um, uh, I'm just sort of gonna do a live shoutcast, sort of what was going through my head during this beta, give you my thoughts on the beta as a whole, and, um, well, let's just carry on. The beta, in general, it was, uh, pretty easy to get into the beta. Um, it ticked me off because PlayStation Network went down right when they did the uh, first thing where you could go into the play Battlefield 4 thing and uh, to the game, go down and get the premium, I mean, get the uh, beta. Well, PlayStation Network goes down. It took me a while to find out that you could actually go on the computer and get it. Um, but I registered before the, it, the registration had closed, but they said they were putting me on a waiting list. So I waited. Then my friend and uh, you'll know who you are. Uh, he registered a few hours afterwards, got on the wait list, and got the beta, like, I think, later that day. And so I had to get, I had to try to get into the beta with alternative methods. And this required me to go to Twitter. And uh, I actually looked up an old uh, beta code that somebody else had used. I sent it into EA, and I also sent in the error code that you get when you use an old code, and it was like error 0.1185765 or something like that. I sent an error code to me, like, hey guys, this beta code doesn't work. It tells me it's invalid. Technically, that's the truth. And so uh, they sent me back an email a day later. Actually, it was probably eight hours later, but I checked it the next day. And uh, that's go back to me. They gave me a new, they gave me a new code. Entered it in, downloaded the beta, that's how I got in. Uh, now, as for my thoughts on the beta itself, um, the servers worked smoothly compared to Battlefield 4, which, when Battlefield 4 first came out, I never really had any issues with it personally, not really any glitches. Once they started patching it for everybody else who was having glitches, that's when it, that's when it uh, started messing up for me. And it seems like every time they patched it, more glitches popped up and more glitches. So I mean, when it first came out, that's when I had the most fun on Battlefield 4. I'm still having a lot of fun on Battlefield 4. It's not as broken as some may say it is. Some people are exaggerating it. Some people may actually be having all these problems and just have bad luck. Uh, I don't know. I just know my own experiences. Uh, the game mode I'm playing right here, Blood Money, this was a pretty fun game mode because it lasts longer usually and you can steal money from the other team's vault as well as go to the middle vault. And uh, my strategy here in this game mode is I like to uh, I like to usually wait around, uh, try, to pick, try to pick off some people, and uh, wait till they get money in their vault. Then I'll go and steal it and take it back to my vault. And then this, this will start a trend. Instead of people all going and piling up in the middle vault, they'll start clumping up at their vaults or somewhere around the map, doing their personal little um, strategies. And this opens up uh, the middle vault, and you can go in there, you can get five grand, go back to your vault, almost no uh, issues. Um, as for my thoughts about uh, this right here, what you see, uh, this gameplay, I really don't like uh, how the um, well I have mixed feelings the cars blow up really easy like if there's an RPG uh, right at you and they hit your squad car and you blow up instantly that's really annoying um, also if a guy with a LMG starts shooting down your uh, 
a gun, that's annoying. Uh, well, not shooting your gun, shooting your car, that's annoying. Um, so maybe they will add health to the vehicles, that way you can actually get some use out of them before they explode. Maybe not. But, uh, I thought that was going to be more annoying than it was. But actually, once I got into the game, usually you have time to jump out. You usually don't just explode uh, if you're getting shot at by uh, a weapon, just like a handgun or something. But uh, you can also use that to your advantage because these cars are sort of like bombs, man. Like, you use it, and, uh, man, it's like, if you're standing within 10 feet of a car that explodes, you're going to get damaged. Uh, as you can see here, there's gas. I don't really like that, how there's gas grenades in this game. Because I don't want to equip the gas mask, because the gas isn't that deadly. But it, 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 it obstructs your vision. <laughs> My bad. Uh, it obstructs your vision, but it's not deadly enough for me to use a gas mask. And uh, they have some really cool things in there, like the zipline and the grappling hook. The zipline for me was more useful than the grappling hook, because the grappling hook, oh, there's some glitches there, like you'll point it right at a place where you should be able to grapple hook, and it doesn't let you. That sort of irritates me. But I would rather use something like that, like a uh, grappling hook that doesn't work every time, than a gas mask. Because not everybody uses gas. But uh, also, um, speaking of gadgets, the uh, laser trip mines, those are pretty cool. I wish they had more anti-vehicle uh, gadgets, but whatever. Uh, maybe they'll add those in later, maybe not. Because um, it seems more of an in infantry-based game. But really the only thing you can take out vehicles with is your RPG or your breaching charges but uh, the taser it's like the t62 crew or whatever whatever it's called uh, not taser but stun gun that's really fun to use I loved using that while I was playing the beta um, the uh, the reviving thing that's cool the reviving needle I actually got killed by that once I didn't think you were actually gonna be able to kill other people with the reviving needle in this game until I got killed by it uh, in a game of uh, heist. That's pretty cool. Um, this vehicle right here in the mobile command center. I like these vehicles because they're big, and you get you can get lots of road kills in them if you use them correctly. Also, in a game like heist, you can go and park it next to the enemy's uh, objectives. You can get lots of uh, lots of spawn, like people spawning on the objective. And uh, a lot of times the enemy people won't notice it's there, and uh, so that, that's a it's a pretty easy way. But uh, as for a lot of the glitches that were existent in Battlefield 4, I haven't noticed many of those. Um, a lot of the a lot of the animations though are quite the same, and the the gunplay feels the same. Like from Battlefield 3 to Battlefield 4. The actual gameplay itself changed quite a bit, but in this game it feels quite the same as Battlefield 4. A lot of people are uh, pretty mad that this isn't being included as a DLC or a mod or something like that, because it seems a lot like it. But this is a pretty fun game with all the game modes it has on it. Um, I actually had a lot more fun playing this than I do during my average play session of Battlefield 4. Because uh, I seem to constantly engage in the game mode. Because not only can you play the middle objective, like the capture flag, you can play the enemy's objective, you can play your own objective. Uh, during highest, that was a pretty fun game mode. Some of the funnest times I had, or most fun times I had, were when uh, the enemy had to go plant that, or take the package to be up on top of the skyscraper. Uh, maybe have some gameplay of that. Um, and then you're just camping up there with your teammates and uh, having a good time. That's fun. Um, as you can see, you can also kill the other enemies picking up their cash. And you can take it back to your, uh, your vault. Um, as you can see, I did that. And then I hopped in this... Uh, I forget what this vehicle itself is called. It's been you know, two weeks since I've played the beta. But uh, uh, it's very armored. I like that. It was good for get for this little getaway right here. Uh, I don't know if I make it. It's been forever since I've seen this gameplay. I don't even remember what's on this gameplay. I'm just going off like on the fly with this. Um, but uh, pretty cool. A lot of the rewards and stuff.
don't look as good as they did, like the patches and stuff, and um, all that, the ribbons, that's what I meant to say. The patches on this game, instead of dog tags, there's patches. I don't really like where they're going with that, because uh, getting dog tags and all that, that was pretty cool. That was some of my favorite things from Battlefield 3 and 4. Um, and, and it looked good. The patches don't look as good, in my opinion. Even though we haven't seen many, we've only seen those few. But they just don't look as good. See here again, I pick up more cash. Uh, game ends, but uh, thank you everybody for watching this gameplay. I'm just sort of out of it right now, back from a long trip, just trying to get a YouTube video out. Uh, but thanks for watching, and uh, thanks for your support. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, and uh, yeah, that's about it. Thank you.